You are now streaming worldwide on RadioOnFire.com and the Radio on Fire app. Welcome back to the Dami K Show here on Radio on Fire. Glad to have you here. Police in California involved in the second shooting in two days. Last night, there was a shooting and killing of an 18-year-old Hispanic security guard who was on his regular patrol at a California auto repair shop. 18 years old. So here's what happened. The 18-year-old, I'm a child, I'm calling him a child, was working at this job for some time. Uh, he might not have been wearing any type of a uniform when the L.A. County Sheriff deputies pulled up and drew their guns. So this killing comes, of course, amid national protest against police brutality in the wake of the George Floyd murder. You would think that the officers would be thinking before they discharge their service weapons but it appears that they are not and uh, some supporters will say in the climate that they're even more fearful but I want them to be more careful because we're going to continue to have situations and situations and it's just going to continue and continue uh, and this is a day after a deputy on the same force the same police force shot and killed the half-brother of a black man who was found hanging from a tree last week. So we, we have a lot of things to unpack here. So let's go to last night's shooting. Thursday's shooting happened about 6 p.m. And a spokesperson for the deputies said that they saw the 18-year-old with the handgun and then he turned and ran this is according uh, to reports out of LA by KCAL channel 9 the CBS affiliate in LA so a spokesperson says this deputies engaged in a short foot pursuit between the two businesses at some point the deputies contacted the suspect and that's when the deputy involved shooting occurred. So this is disputed. Sheriffs claim that they found a handgun near where the 18 year old was shot. Family members dispute this. So the owner of the store that the 18 year old worked in is called Freeway Auto Shop. He told reporters we had a security guard that was out front because we had just had certain issues with people tagging and stuff like that. So, you know, you had people writing Black Lives Matter and other things. So you had a security guard, which was the 18 year old that the hired. He said that police came up and they pulled their guns on him and he ran because he was scared and they shot and killed him. He's got a clean background and everything. There's no reason this is coming from the owner of the store officials have not said how many times how many officers open fired they massacred this kid so the intense scene was caught on video after the shooting when of course distraught family members showed up and confronted several officers and they wanted answers both sides were yelling and pointing at each other very tense scene and uh, as i said earlier this is the second shooting in two days by police the day before that a deputy involved shooting happened and uh Tehran jamal boom in a car uh they identified him as a suspect wanted in a domestic assault and a kidnapping well, they followed him uh, they saw him get into the car 
with another woman uh, another woman in addition to the one he was in a car with another lady uh, allegedly says that she was assaulted and kidnapped by this guy and so they were trying to apprehend him uh, gunshots ring out firefight ensues they say this this is coming from the deputies once again the suspect opened the front passenger door of the vehicle and engaged the deputies by firing multiple rounds at them with a handgun at that time an officer involved shooting occurred during which the suspect was struck several times in the upper torso he died on the scene gunfire also hit a woman driving in the vehicle but a seven-year-old girl in the car was unharmed the woman was treated and released both shootings under investigation i mean this is not the time for this you would think that the officers would be exercising more caution uh, in the boone case i just i have to question everything that's said because we need camera footage of everything i want to see the body camera footage because if there was no multiple camera angles in the george floyd murder they would have probably said something else in the brooks case in atlanta they would have said something else and we didn't have all of the camera footage so they're saying something now i want to see body camera surveillance footage i need to see footage every time i need to see footage before i believe it let me know your thoughts in the comment section instagram facebook twitter at the dominic k show at radio on fire let's take a quick break and we'll come back with more of the program after this